Jamie, from your experience, why is it that so many believers are drawn to a spiritual interpretation versus the literal interpretation of the Bible that you talked about this morning? Yeah, I, I think that's a good question. I, and and I, not that I pretend to know all the answers to that, but I think that, you know, there, there's a multiple perspectives that go on there. One is that I, I think people are looking for something maybe more exciting. You know, like we like jigsaw puzzles, we like scavenger hunts, we like treasure hunts, things like that. And so we think that if we have to somehow dig and find something, you know, that other people don't see, that, that, that somehow that elevates us. And, and, and though that might be great, if you're doing a scavenger hunt, as we taught today, that's not the way that you approach the Bible at all. And so though it might feel more exciting, uh, just stay in the moment with, with God and stay in that literal uh, approach to understanding the scriptures and, uh, and and you'll find that you'll be happier in the end because you'll be discerning exactly his will for you. I think that's one of the reasons that we tend to do that. I think another reason we tend to do that is because some of us have been taught that. I mean there's been entire traditions and denominations in which people have taught that you know that there's only a select few that understand what the Bible is really saying. And I think it's kind of a way to control people, to keep them on the road that you want them to or that the teacher wants them to. And, uh, and so some of us have been raised in an environment like that. And that was going on in John's day. It was what they call Gnosticism, where people had a, a knowledge from God you know, that was only given to a select few, and they were in the know. Gnostic means knowledge. And, uh, and they were the ones who taught people this special revelation. So they had to teach, or they had to seek themselves the same thing. And so I think some of us do that as well that way. And, and that's not a good thing. Again, that's, it, it's, it's, that's not the way God has written the scriptures. When you think about it logically, here, here's what's really going on. God, who loves you, God, who wants to communicate to you in plain language His will so that you may live it, has done so. And any type of trying to find that special hidden meaning because it might feel more exciting, like a scavenger hunt, or because we were taught that way, it isn't going to end up in the end helping us understand who God really is. He's made it plain so that all of us can understand who He is, all of us who are believers in Christ filled with the Spirit, and we don't need to seek any deeper meaning. So whatever the reason might be, I would just encourage all of us to uh, just read the Word of God together, seek after its plain, straightforward meaning, and then, as you guys know my passion more than anything, live it. Uh, I mean, we have more problem living it than anything else, so let's understand it, then live it, because we're all in this together. Thank you, Jamie.